Hello and welcome everyone to this brand new video. Today we're tackling the question I posted on LinkedIn in response to all the news I've been reading about switching to Zorin OS, which I noticed is a very nice Ubuntu based distribution. And regarding the migration to Linux, specifically from Windows 10 in this case, because as you all know, Windows 10 is no longer receiving support, so companies are finding themselves in a difficult position. And I'm talking about companies, not private individuals, because obviously for private users, anything goes, everything is fine. So basically the question I asked is, why should a company migrate from Windows to Linux in 2025? Does it still make sense? Does it make sense? Why? And I received a ton of comments. And I gathered the opinions of several IT professionals, ranging from system engineers to cybersecurity experts, and today we're going to sum things up. So, many people start from the idea that switching to Linux saves money. But as Alessandro, founder of IT4U and certified penetration tester, explained, you can only migrate in two cases. Either you don't have the money to upgrade your machines or you think you'll save money, but in reality, between training, adaptation and compatibility, you end up spending more. Massimiliano, an IT manager, confirms this. It's true, Microsoft licensing costs are high, but with open source, other hidden costs come into play. Security, support, and maintenance. In the enterprise world, Linux needs to be evaluated on a case-by-case -case basis, but as a complete replacement, I rule it out. Christian, a cybersecurity specialist, brought a very interesting perspective. Windows is like a car, easy to drive, hard to make mistakes. Linux is like a commercial airplane. You can control every single setting, but you need experience. In the field of cybersecurity and development, he points out that Linux offers total freedom, reduces the attack surface, and, and doesn't have unnecessary services, but it requires personnel who really know what they're doing. So yes, Linux is more powerful, but also more demanding. As for compatibility and productivity, as Sergio, an IT specialist, reminded us, like it or not, the user's desktop is Windows, just as the internet is Google. The reality is that Office, Teams, and ERPs and management software run better in a Microsoft environment. So for the end user or administrative departments, Windows remains the most productive and compatible choice. But on the server side, the situation is reversed. In fact, let's see what these professionals think specifically from the server, cloud and DevOps perspective. Net software architect Gabriele said, for servers that aren't AD controllers or SharePoint, Linux is perfect. It's inexpensive, everything can be managed from the command line, and it works great with .NET Core and PostgreSQL. In fact, Linux dominates in DevOps and cybersecurity. It's stable, flexible, and much more transparent to manage. Now let's read the comment from Gabriele, IT infrastructure and security engineer, who touched on a key point. So let's talk about skills management. The real challenge isn't the license, but the management. That's what Gabriele says. Policies, integration, and identity are more mature in Microsoft. He's right. While Linux requires more advanced and expensive skills. So it's not a matter of money, but of expertise. Now Mirko gives us his point of view regarding hybrid environments. Mirko Senior Project Manager writes, We use mixed environments, Linux, Mac and Windows, standardizing only the versions for compatibility. And that's exactly how many companies operate in 2025. Each system does its part, integrated into a single infrastructure. At this point, there's a comment from Lorenzo regarding integration, which is already a reality. Lorenzo Pitch from Intellicomunicazioni pointed out that with Windows 11, we have WSL, so the coexistence of the two worlds is already a reality. You can have Linux inside Windows without a VM. The future is already hybrid. And finally, Domenico, IT architect and cybersecurity expert, says that in Italy, Linux is more of a trend than a real alternative. Technicians use it, but the market remains firmly Microsoft-centric. So in 2025, does it make sense to talk about migrating from Windows to Linux? Maybe not, judging by the various comments. Today, the focus is on smart integration. Windows remains the leader when it comes to productivity. Linux dominates in the cloud and security. Knowing how to use both offers a huge advantage. 
That's the opinion of these specialists who answered my question. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, subscribe. And of course, let me know in the comments whether you think it still makes sense to talk about Windows versus Linux or both. Or if you manage a hybrid infrastructure, tell me how you make these systems coexist.